What's going on guys? This is Chandler Smith and today in under five minutes, I'm gonna show you how to analyze a rental property. So with all of that being said, let's jump into it. All right, guys, if you're new to the channel, my name's Chandler Smith, and I've been investing in real estate for the last eight years. And today, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know to be able to analyze a rental property in under five minutes. All that I ask you to do is make sure you remember to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell so we can catch you in the future videos where I'm gonna show you everything you need to know to build a huge passive income. So the first step is to grab your phone. Now it works for Android or iPhone. You're gonna go to your app store and you're going to plug in CDS Rental Calculator. Once you get there, you're gonna download this app and this is what we're gonna to use to be able to analyze a property in under five minutes. Step number two is you need to find a property. Now you can use the MLS, you can use a realtor, you can use wholesalers, you can find off-market deals. If you wanna learn more about all of that, you can click the link right here. However, the goal is to find a good property in a good area. For a rental property, I would buy in a C plus area or above. You wanna make sure that there are good schools, you wanna make sure there's good income, you wanna make sure that the property values are going up and that there's a need for housing so you can get good cash flow and good appreciation. The more properties you look at, get inside, analyze, the better you're going to get at finding the properties that will work because you're gonna to have to pass on a ton of properties before you find the property that meets your criteria. Now, once you've found a property, we're gonna show you how to analyze it. So you're gonna open up your app and right away it's gonna ask you for your purchase price. So to keep this simple, we're gonna plug in $100,000 for the purchase price on this property. The next section is cost to make rent ready. Now, this is whatever you need to get this rentable. Some will require bigger renovations than others. So we're gonna just plug in $1,000 to get this property ready to rent. The next section is your down payment. Most areas are going to require you to put 25% down unless you're living in the property. So that's what we're gonna to do to analyze it. You're just gonna plug in 25%. Closing costs are usually 2%, so we'll just plug that in. However, I like to negotiate closing costs so I never have to pay them, just a helpful hint along the way. Next, you're gonna plug in 30 years to pay off at an interest rate of 3.5%. You can change these, obviously. So whatever you end up at, that's what you can plug in. You can call your loan officer to make sure you're getting the right interest rate. Then you're going to jump down to rents. Now, this is where you can really lose or win on a deal. You need to make sure that you understand your market and you plug in market rents. When you're analyzing a property, it might be renting for $1,000 a month, but it might be able to rent for 1,200 or it might be able to only rent for 800 and they kind of worked the system and got lucky with the tenant. So you've got to get in lots of properties and know your rents. For this specific property, we're going to run rents at 1200. Next, you've got utilities. We're not going to pay any utilities because the tenants are going to cover all of that. And you've got vacancy. Now, I like to run a vacancy of 6% in my area. That usually plans for some layover to get new tenants in between leases or any other issues you might have with evictions, whatever else. I'm comfortable with that number. You might need more, you might need less depending on your area. Next, you've got maintenance. Now, this is going to include everything. So your capital expenditures, any kind of expenses you're going to have throughout the year on this property that you need to plan for or set money aside for, this is where you're gonna plug it in. So for me, I'm gonna plug in a full 12%. Now, I don't think this is where it's going to be every single month, but the roof might go out, the water heater might go out. This is me planning for the general expenses and for those bigger expenses that are going to come. So you wanna make sure you set that money aside. But overall, over a 10 year period on a property, you should end about 12% on your maintenance, at least in my area or less. Now yours might be more, it might be less. You've gotta figure that out depending on the age of your property and the area that you're purchasing in. Now we're gonna hop over to management and I would always push you to have someone else manage your properties. However, if you're managing them, you can put this at zero. I want to plan to have people manage it because I want this to be a passive investment for me. So I plug in 8% on management. Then when you jump down, all of these are yearly expenses. So if you have an HOA fee that's for the year, you can plug that in in any of these. For me, I usually only have taxes and insurance. And you want to get exacts on this because a lot of taxes in certain areas can totally kill a deal. For this specific property, we're going to run insurance at $400 and taxes at 1200. Now, at this point, we have everything plugged in to be able to analyze this deal. So we're gonna click run the numbers and see where we ended up at. Now, at the top here, we've got our purchase price and total capital required. 
Now, the total capital required is including your down payment, any cost to make rent ready, and any closing costs. So that shows your total investment. Down here, you're gonna see your net operating income, your debt service, your cash on cash return, and your cap rate. Now, I personally like to analyze a deal with my cash on cash return, and I would prefer in this current market, a 10 to 12 percent or more and so you can see this gets an 18 percent cash on cash return that is an incredible deal i would say 15 percent or better is an awesome deal but in a lot of markets i would buy at a 10 percent or higher as long as they're in a good area there's a need for housing and the property values are going up if you jump down this is going to show you your cash flow so that's going to show you how much you're making after all of your expenses your mortgage everything that's your take home cash it's also going to show your principal pay down now what's really cool about this app is it shows you your overall return with principal pay down and cash flow but if you click the button down here you can see the amortization schedule so you're going to be able to see your payment amount your interest paid your principal paid and the entire loan balance so you can get a feel for where that money's going in your mortgage all right guys you made it to the end of the video so you now know how to analyze a rental property now if you want a more in-depth video you can click this link right here and if you want to learn more you can actually click this button up in the top left corner of the app this is going to take you to all of my social media where my goal is to help you to build a huge passive income through investing in real estate you can also pick up my real estate investing course for 50 dollars off you can apply to come and work for me or you can join my free facebook group where you can be around a ton of other like-minded real estate investors and learn a ton all of these links are in the app so that we can stay connected and i can help you to build a huge passive income now if you enjoyed the video make sure you remember to smash the like button subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell so that i can catch you in the future videos where my goal is to help you to build a huge passive income thanks guys have a great day